should have saw it coming. I should have saw the signs. But I wanted to believe you, trust you. You said you wasn't lying. But baby, it was so good, so good. You had me going blind. You said I was your best friend. I'm guessing I wasn't your type. What's good? Yo, Toby, it's your boy, back again with another YouTube video. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a little bit later than the video I just recorded. <laughs> and also, my bad, I was singing. I was uh, That's my jam. That's really my song. Like, I be singing that all the time. Ariana Grande, that is my ish. That's, like, one of my favorite. That's one of my all-time favorite songs by Ariana Grande. That's actually not also. That's the number one. That's my number one favorite song by Ariana Grande. I'd say my number two song... Let me just give y'all my top five while I'm on the topic, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I, I, I love me some Ari. But I must have to say, that's definitely number one, for sure. Number two is probably... Uh, side to Side with Nikki. Yeah, definitely Side to Side, for sure. I've been there all night. I've been there all day. Yeah. I can't hit that note. This shit is hard, but that's my shit. And bye. Got me walking side to side. That's my shit. That's number two. <laughs> it's the new style with the fresh type of flow. Rest eyes to go, rising bars to go. <laughs> I love Nikki. Anyway, so that's number two. Uh, number three, 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 number three. Numero tres. Um, what's number three? Let's see. My number... Probably... Uh, is it that one? I would say maybe The Way with Mac Miller. There's another one I always be blasting. What is it? Um, hmm. Hmm. This is a, a, a hard topic. Hmm, what's another one? What's another one? What's my next favorite one? I like that one song with Future. I think it's called Love You, where she's like, la, 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 That's probably my number four. Because I remember when that album was out, and I went to go see her in concert, I was like, bopping that shit. So I'm going to have to go with that one. And then number five, number five, number five, number five. What is number five? Hmm. Number five. Ooh. Ooh. Bitch. For number five, I'm going to put two songs. They're going to share the, the, the fifth spot. I'm going to put Delight and um, God is a Woman. That's my shit. So, yeah. That's my top five favorite Ariana Grande song. So, yeah. Anyway. I didn't even say what this YouTube video is about. Okay, sorry, y'all. I got all type of sidetracked. This YouTube video is a story time of the time <laughs> my dad hit me with a Suburban, his Suburban he used to have. Um, But before we do all that, please... Oh, my God. Turn on my light. Turn on. Sorry. Hold up, y'all. Okay. Yeah. But before we do all that, please go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, and share if you care and all that good YouTube stuff. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Since I skipped the intro, we're just gonna skip all that. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this story time. Sorry, y'all. Um, currently rolling a cigarette. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, where was that? Story time. Story time. That's what was that. Story time. So how does this? How did this start? Okay, so this story time takes place around the time. This is like about two years ago, I think, when my grandfather died. Yeah, two years ago. Um, it was in August in the summer of two years ago. I know that. So he, my grandpa had just passed and I was in West Virginia helping, uh, well, actually, I guess it technically starts like a week before he passed. So I was just in West Virginia just cause visiting my dad and grandpa. And then I was also going to go to Charlotte to see my grandma. But first I was in West Virginia. So while I was in West Virginia, I was at my grandpa's house, which is where I used to stay. Um... My grandpa was just being, uh, you know, my grandpa, just him, you know, just grandpa. And my dad <clears throat> was kind of, my dad is kind of like, he's, he's like, he 
he was bullying me. Like, I don't really know how to say it. My dad's a bully. Like, he bullies me. Like, I'm not gonna lie. That's why we don't really have a relationship. But he used to be like, he bullies me. Like, I don't know how to say it. My dad literally bullies me. Like, that's crazy to say. That's actually my first time saying that out loud. Well, not my first time, but like, really like taking that in. That's, like, he really bullies me. But anyway, so... Yeah, he was just bullying me, being mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Just being a male Leo, and I'm just like, bruh, leave me alone. Are you so mean to me, right, you know? I don't remember, I, don't, I can't even remember, like, what he was just, like, being nasty to me, like, for no reason. Like, he was just taking out his anger. And then one day, he was mad because he had me running around for him all day, and then he wanted me to take my cousin somewhere, too, and I told him I had something to do, but he just was not listening to what I said. And I literally kept saying I have something to do. And then so he needed me to bring her to him for something real quick. And I kept and he wasn't listening. So I dropped her off and drove off. Like I told him I had something to do. So he had to take her somewhere. And he was mad. And so the next day when I was asleep in uh, at my grandpa's house in the morning, he came in there in the morning and woke me up out of my sleep by slapping me in my face three times. He slapped me hard as fuck. And I woke up. And I was just stunned for a second, just laying there like, what the fuck? And then he slapped me again, and I'm still stunned because I'm trying to figure out what happened. And then he slapped me a third time, and then I'm like, okay, now I'm starting to like, I'm I'm like, like, I'm just like, I really didn't even have time to react. And then he just cussed me out, and then he left and shit. And then, like, I'm, like, awake at this point, and, like, I start crying because, like, I'm angry at this, like, at this point, I'm just fucking angry. And, like, I put, fucking punch a hole in the fucking, uh door at my grandpa's house and then i like packed all my shit and like drove my ass to charlotte to go be at my grandma because I, I was so fucking angry i was mad as fuck at that nigga and then i texted my dad a long ass paragraph and shit cussing him out through messages and shit like nigga fuck you yada 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 if you ever put your motherfucking hands on me again i'm um i'm not even gonna bother fighting you i'm gonna hit you with this motherfucking baseball bat which i fucking meant which we'll get to in a second yada 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 and um so like I'm not even gonna bother fighting your big ass nigga. It's pointless. I'm gonna lose. You know, I just was going in, and then I, I even started talking about his girlfriend, which is now <laughs> the future mother of my new little brother. Like, what the fuck? That's a whole different story time in itself. But anyway, so I was like, I wasn't like, <laughs> I was just talking shit to make him mad. I don't really have a problem with her, but I was like roasting her just to piss him off because I was so fucking angry. Like this nigga was like. Like, really came in there and slapped me because I'm not his fucking slave. Like, my dad is such a fucking immature-ass boy. It's sad. So, um, anyway. So, that happened. And I'm just roasting him. We're going back and forth with text message. And then my, I'm still so fucking mad. Y'all, I was so mad. It's like five hours, four, four and a half, five hours to get from West Virginia to Charlotte, right? I was so mad. I got there in like literally three hours, bro. I was flying, not even meaning to. I was just, you know, when you drive angry, you just can't help it. I was so, fuck, I was crying mad the whole way because I was like, who the fuck does that? You slap me out my sleep because you're bad. I won't fucking like, nigga, I'm a grown ass man. You shouldn't even be putting your fucking hands on me no more at this point. And what the fuck even... The fact that you even think you have the authority to tell me what to do anymore is a problem. That's a problem for real, if you ask me. Like, I don't feel like I'm being a kid who's out of line. I'm 20 fucking three. You know? Well, at the time I was like 22, 21. But still, same shit. The fuck? Like, the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't... You, like, you shouldn't be hitting your kids after a certain age. Like, nigga, I'm a grown man. Like, what the fuck? Anyway... Sorry, I've been holding this shit for like 10 minutes. But yeah, like, I'm like, what the fuck? And. Okay, yeah. But yeah, so I'm like, what the fuck? You just gonna like hit me because you're mad? I won't like be your slave. Like, I don't, I'm not your your servant. Like, I told you I had something to do and you just didn't care and he was mad. So yeah, so I'm in Charlotte now, yada, yada, yada. With my grandma because my dad made me mad. Now fast forward like a week later we get the news my grandpa's in the hospital and he's doing really bad so we have to like all of a sudden get up and go back to west virginia so when we get to west virginia my grandma tells me that um he my grandpa actually didn't make it like she knew it before she just didn't tell me so he actually like she already knew he had died but 
she um she didn't want to tell me before we went back to Charlotte because she didn't want me to drive sad or I guess distraught. So I didn't even get to say goodbye to my grandpa because of my freaking dad one. Second, um when when I got back and I was I was basically back in West Virginia now, I was there for like a week. Uh I was helping or we like everybody was helping like, you know, get the funeral ready and stuff. My grandma helping and stuff. So we're all in West Virginia and I'm like, you know, just doing my best to, you know, play my role, play my part and help too. Like taking care of the dog, they can take, or my grandpa's dog, taking her for walks, keeping food in her bowl, taking her out and whatnot, yada, yada, yada. I put like a little roof on her cage that was, cause he has like a, he has a fence in his yard that she can kind of walk around in so she can have a little bit of space with no roof, but it was really hot at the time. So I was like putting stuff on top like junk stuff that my grandpa had in his garage to like kind of give her a roof to make it cool down. And then like my dad was just like kind of just like talking shit about everything I was doing. Like, why are you putting all that shit up there? Like, why are you ain't doing this? Just everything I was doing, he was just talking shit. And I'm like, like, I and I, and my what it is, I know what it is. It's like, he's just, my dad's sad. He doesn't, my dad doesn't cry. He shows it through anger. He's not going to cry. He's one of those niggas. So like, it's, it's, uh, it, like I get like you're might be distraught whatever your your dad died and yada 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 but you're not about to take this bullshit out on me because you're not doing nobody else the way you do me he was like he was being mean to everybody but he was definitely being worse to me than anybody else and I don't give a fuck what nobody say and nigga I'm not the fucking punching bag like that's my grandfather too nigga you're not the only one who lost, you're not the only one who lost somebody you know what I'm saying like what the fuck get out your own fucking ego that's selfish as fuck so um he was just bullying the hell out of me and shit and stuff. And sorry, hold on, there's a car. But yeah, he was just bullying the hell out of me and shit and stuff. And then like one day, what happened? He was in my face about something. I don't remember, I don't remember what, but he was in my face and I just tried to walk away because I didn't want to argue. Like I literally just walked away and then he followed me. This nigga followed me. I walked away, he followed me like, no, you're not gonna walk away from me, come here. And then I tried to get in my car and like drive away, but he got in front of the door and like was getting in my face still. So I couldn't like, he literally wouldn't leave me alone. So I walked away again and he kept following me. Like this nigga literally followed me all the way down the street. Y'all. This nigga would not leave me the fuck alone. Like bro, leave me the fuck alone. He keeps talking shit. I got, I got just trying to provoke me. Like you would think this nigga is my age. This nigga is 40 something provoking me. Like it's like, I'm literally raising a fucking child. How like that my dad's fucking immature and he thinks he's so fucking alpha smart and male and sh you're so he's so stupid sometimes like fuck the nigga is just like it's kind of like it's laughable like he's just stupid he's just stupid like uh he's not stupid in the sense like my dad's a smart man but sometimes he can be so fucking stupid like how are you that fucking stupid? like how can you be so smart but yet so dumb it's weird as fuck but anyway so so yeah so like i'm just walking away and he's like cussing at me talking shit and at this point i'm getting mad so i started talking shit back you know what i'm saying because i can only be provoked so far and at the end of the day i'm the fuck once i let my light and at the end of the day, I'm the younger one. You know what I'm saying? I'm the child. I'm the kid. So I'm not saying that gave me a right to cuss him out. I'm just saying I'm the I'm supposed to be the more immature one. So like, you know what I'm saying? My fuse is only but so big too. You know what I'm saying? I'm a kid. Like, well, I'm not a kid because you know, like I said, I'm 21. But like to him, I'm his kid. You know what I'm saying? So like I'm the younger between the two. So it's like, what the fuck? Like my fuse is not... You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I, I I still have a I still have a, a a boundary or a limit too to how much I can take. So at this point, I'm cussing back, and I'm just but like I'm still walking away because like like the fuck I'm not about the fuck. That nigga, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga. But like I'm just trying to walk away. I really just want to be left alone. He just won't leave me alone. And then so finally he starts to walk the fuck away, leaves me alone. And then what happens next? From there, oh uh, I'm just walking. So I was like, I was like, uh, what did I do from there? I was still mad. I was mad. I was mad. And I was still mad from where he slapped me because that was only like a week ago. So at this point, I'm like, I'm tired of this nigga bullying me. So I start walking to his house. And I don't know what I was going to do, but I was going to do something. 
So, so I was like, because this house is like down the street from my grandpa's house. It's like up the hill. Everything in West Virginia is on a hill. So I'm like walking up the hill to his, his like uh, house at the time, his apartment. And on the way, he like pulls up beside me in his suburban. And he, uh, he like, he was just talking shit again. So I was like, yeah, yeah. And I, I, at this point, I was, I'm like, bro, you know what? You talking all this shit. I'm like, at this point, get out the car. Get out the car. He's like, you really want me to do that, Jason? I'm like, get out the car. Get out the fucking car. So he finally gets out the car. Y'all, I pepper sprayed this thing. <laughs> I pepper sprayed him. I said, Tsh. I had it ready too in the cut because I heard him coming and I was like, you know, if he touches me, I'm gonna pepper spray him. Like, that ass, this shit's about to stop. I'm gonna pepper spray him. So he pulled up, got out the car, I pepper sprayed the fuck out of him. Dead in the eyes. That shit was funny. So then after that, after that, he like stopped for a second. He like looked back, he went like this. And he like was stunned for a second. He blinked his eyes. <laughs> Y'all, when I say in less than like a millisecond, I saw the quickest like like hop back in the truck and uh and uh like he like hop back in the truck, put it in drive, <laughs> and managed to like drive up and hit me and like bump into me because i was like on the side of the road so he just pulled up and like rammed it to the left literally right into me and but he did it so fast like he didn't even think like it's kind of like you know when your parents say boy i brought you into this world i'll take you out it was kind of like a moment like like that like that nigga did that shit so quick i was like oh shit. i wasn't expecting that he got me with that one i wasn't expecting that i was like oh shit this nigga's crazy <laughs> bro i thought he was gonna kill me so so but i was I, I in my defense i was pushed to that i was pushed to that point i was not just being a little badass kid he's not gonna, he not gonna make it sound like i was being disrespectful oh uh, so I was like, what the fuck? This nigga just hit me with a fucking SUV. And it was the long one. This ain't even the short body. This is the big body. So this is the big body Benz. I'm like, no, I'm playing. It's not a, it was a, it was a top, it was a suburban, but still, y'all get what I'm saying. So, so, um, yeah, I'm like, oh shit. I get up from the ground real quick and run and I hop over the little barrier on the side of the road because it's like on the hill. So they have barriers because like I said, everything in West Virginia is on a mountain, literally. So I like go through the trees and forest and grass and go down the mountain and cut through the woods and hop back through the little side streets and then eventually get back to my grandpa's house. Because at this point now, I'm mad. I'm like, he just hit me with a car. I, I was so mad. I ran. I got back to my car because at this point, I made up my mind. I was going to go hit him with my bat. So I... Sorry, people were coming. But I ran to my car. Hold up. But yeah, I ran to my car and what happened? Oh yeah, I got in my car and I was about to, and I turned and I came came out of grandpa's uh driveway to drive up the hill and go back to my dad's house because I had my bat in my car. So my grandma was trying to like I guess she knew I was about to do something crazy because she knew at this point I hit that point where I'm just I'm angry, I don't care about nothing. I'm about to mess somebody's day up. So um She's like, tries to block my car in the road. And I'm like, grandma, move, move. But she wouldn't move. So I had to back up and reverse down the street and go the other way. Cause you can get to his house two ways by going around the hill. So I reversed, turned around, went the other way. I'm like, grandma, I'm not in the mood for this. This is happening. So I drove my ass up to the hill. And my dad, when I got there, he was already outside waiting. He already knew I was like, to that point where I was mad that I'm coming. I was like, nigga, I am coming. He knew. So I got there. And I, as soon as I got out, I had my bat in my car. I had my bat in my car, bro. I was like, I had that bitch like ready to go. Like, I'm like, remember I said what I was going to do if you hit me again? Remember I said I'm going to hit you with this fucking bat if you put your hands on me again? I'm going off. And then I was about to hit him because I was thinking, my plan was I was thinking he was going to come at me. <laughs> I was thinking he wasn't like no pussy. He was just going to try to come with the bat anyway. And I was going, bink, bink. <laughs> but. But he, my dad ain't stupid. <laughs> he said, no, wait right there. I got something for you. That nigga took off, ran into his apartment. I said, oh, shit. I know what he went to go grab. <laughs> he didn't even say it, but I know what he went to go grab. So 
I ran. Well, no, no, no. I didn't run. I just ran. Just I was like, oh shit! I need to get the fuck out of here. But I was like, but I'm, mm -mm, I'm taking, I'm damaging something. So I walked over to his, his SUV that he hit me with. I looked at that left mirror. I had to, I had to, my back. I lined that bitch up on the left mirror. I said, bang! Took that bitch off. Hopped in my motherfucking car. Back the fuck up down the fucking uh mountain. And y'all, the roads in West Virginia are narrow as fuck. Like, and they're on mountains. And some of, not all of them have guardrails. So the one off my dad's, it was it was, it was narrow. So if I would have like made the wrong turn, I could have went off the fucking like side of the mountain, flipped and died and shit. I'm backing up, off, backing up through the mountain like this shit. Quick as fuck. Because I didn't have time to turn around his little area of the parking lot because it was so small. And by the time I would have did all that, he... I'm thinking he's going to be back out with the gun. So I'm like, I need to get the fuck out of here. So I just backed up and I had, and I thank God my our car has like a reverse camera. So I was able to see, but I backed up and a little bit down the street, I turned around and then drove off. And then I was so fucking angry still. And I was mad I didn't get to like do more damage. So I was like, no, 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 mm -mm, this ain't over. I'm I'm still mad. I'm still, mm -mm, I'm because at that point I'm in that petty mode. I'm in that Capricorn um, I'm about to tear some shit up, Mo. Like, fuck that. Somebody is about to have a problem. So I drove down to his little store in downtown Charleston, West Virginia. I was like, I'm going to tear up his storefront. I'm going to bash in all the motherfucking windows. This nigga is going to learn to stop putting his fucking hands on me. I was that mad. I was that mad. And I don't do shit like that. I'm not a hoodlum. I'm a good straight A 4.0 graduated from college good kid you know what i'm saying i was i'm the good kid i don't do shit like that but that's how fucking mad he made me so i get down there and um i'm about to i'm about to bash the shit in but the reason why i didn't is because it took me so long to get over there because it was hella fucking traffic and by the time i had got there my nerves had calmed down and i just sat there for a second I was like well let me smoke a blunt first so i smoked the blunt and then by the time i was, I was like okay hey, i'm not gonna um i'm not gonna bash it in but i was so close to tearing that nigga shit up oh i was about to fuck his shit up but after that, I was like, okay. I just grabbed my shit and I went back to uh, my other grandpa's house who also lives in West Virginia, but he lives in Huntington, West Virginia. So this is my dad's dad um, who died uh, a few years ago. Um, he lives in Charleston, West Virginia. My mom's dad, he's still alive. He lives in Huntington, West Virginia. So I drove to, Hun this is like an hour away. So I drove to Huntington, West Virginia and just stayed with my grandpa for like, the rest of that trip and then i went to my uh grandpa's funeral uh, a few days later like i just drove to the funeral and then drove back home to ohio and then yeah so that's really the end of that story time but at, at the time i was uh ang oh wait i forgot one little side i'm sorry also after um when he like right after he hit me with his truck i um like when i was went to, to my car to drive back up to his his apartment to like go hit him with the bat when and like in that little process of when I was on the way back to my car I was um on the phone with my stepmom like telling her what happened going off like mad as fuck and then like I kicked my grandpa's uh car and put a dent in it with my like bare foot um just out of anger I didn't even mean to and I was fucking limping for three weeks after oh shit like keeps doing that sorry my car light turns off after a certain amount of time but like I literally was limping for like a month after that shit because I was just so angry. I kicked a metal fucking car and put a dent in it with my bare foot. Like that's that I, you got to kick some shit hard to do that. And with your foot, I used my heel. I was limping like a motherfucker. Like I did the I did the comment. I mean, huh? Kick on that bitch. I said huh, and kicked it and like that shit just went out. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Why did I do that dumb ass shit? I was limping for three weeks. Shit was crazy. But yeah, that's really the it of that story time. Hold up. One second. I'm back. But yeah, I just wanted to like tell that story time because I thought it was funny. Um, at the moment, I did not think it was funny at all, not even a little bit. And it, it probably isn't even funny in the reality of things. It's probably very sad that a father and son were fighting like that. But looking back, that shit was funny. Like, that shit was hilarious. Like, it's just like, damn niggas <laughs> like me and my dad or something else like like that's crazy like what the fuck that's really the it for that story time that's really the end of that 
I'm trying to think, is there anything else I want to say in there? Um, let me try to put a, a dissertation of what you can learn, I guess. Something that you can learn. What you can learn is, walk away. Also, don't go back to your father's house with the bat. I probably could have just walked away again. Although, am I, am I, although to be fair, he did just hit me with a truck. He just provoked me again. So, but I mean, I was going to say, well, I did pepper spray him, but he provoked me to pepper spray him too. Like the whole thing was provoked. I was literally acting out of defense the entire trip because he literally was like abusing me. He was literally abusing me physically, mentally, verbally, and emotionally. Like he was putting his hands on me, slapping me like, like, I, I can't just sit there and take it now. I'm not just going to sit there and take it. I don't give a fuck if you my dad or not, nigga. I'm not just going to let no human fucking being on this planet and just think they're just going to beat me down. As a, like, as a, just as a person, just from human to human. Nobody on this fucking planet is going to just beat me down. I'm never going to allow that. I don't give a fuck who you are. I'm not going to allow you to tear me down as a person, as an individual. What the fuck do I look like? That's not even what a parent should be doing. I was not in the wrong, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, well, I'm not going to say I would like, you know, I could have did shit better or I'm, I'm not going to say I was perfect, but look, I was acting in self-defense at that point. Like I was provoked. I was provoked. So I forgive myself. But anyway, let me get over here, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Let me know what y'all think. Also, Send some prayers that I get the strength to put this shit back down. I'm not, this is not forever. This is not permanent. This is just, I'm just right now, man. Like, I just, niggas are struggling. But I'm going to get, I'm going to get rid of this habit one day. One of these damn days. But for now, it is what it is. It's just like, I just, it's like my um, stress reliever. Which is not a good thing. God needs to be my stress reliever. But look, bro, I ain't perfect. Like I said, I could be doing crack. <laughs> Let me stop. Uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Let me get the fuck off of here. Uh, yeah, I think that's all I gotta say. See y'all in the next video.